So this is pretty interesting. So there's this story out about this guy who's a CEO who gave his employees a minimum wage or it should be minimum salary. I don't know what the uh, precise terminology would be in that situation. $70,000 minimum wage. Uh, and he says that revenue has tripled six years later. So it says a CEO who cut his own salary to give all of his employees a minimum wage of at least $70,000 per year says his company's revenue has tripled since he made the move. And so this guy's name is Dan Price. He's in Seattle. Um, he tweeted out saying, Six years ago today I raised my company's minimum wage to $70,000. Fox News called me a socialist whose employees would be on bread lines. Since then, our revenue tripled. We're a Harvard Business School case study, and our employees had a 10x boom in Homespot. Always invest in people. Uh, Price said since creating a $70,000 minimum wage, his workforce has grown by 70%, and his revenue tripled. The company's customer base has also doubled. Um, they started out in Seattle. They opened up a new Boise office as well. Um, and so what you can see here is he says, since our $70,000 minimum wage was announced six years ago today, our revenues tripled, headcount grew 70%, customer base doubled, babies had by staff grew 10x, 70% 70 of, 70 of employees paid down debt, homes bought by employees grew 10 times, 401k contributions grew 155%, turnover dropped in half. Uh, so 76% of employees are engaged at work, two times the national average. Customer attrition fell to 25% below national average. We expanded uh, to a new Boise office and enacted $70,000 minimum dollar wage there. Our highest paid employee makes four times our lowest paid employee, down from 33 times. So that's obviously you see the CEO to regular worker um, you know, ratio is so massive. But this is really important because what we need to understand and we need to shift our philosophy in the United States in terms of what are beneficial and efficient business practices. Because for whatever reason, businesses in the United States have seemed to come to the idea that uh, you know, for their businesses to succeed, the best possible thing to do is pay them the absolute, absolute least possible um, for their labor. So try to maximize as much labor you can get out of the least money you can pay them. But in reality, if you want to have a successful business, what you really want to do is you want to keep your employees happy and happy to work there. And so that means paying them a decent wage. And so when people talk about, you know, a potential downside of like worker cooperatives being, well, hey, look at workers in McDonald's now or somewhere like that. Those workers don't give a fuck about working at a company they don't have any stake in. They get treated like dog shit. Their job is garbage. Their pay is trash. They don't get good benefits. So why would they come in caring at all? And so what we need is a four-day work week because a four-day work week is more efficient than a five-day work week. You get more done in a four-day work week because you get to recharge over the weekend and come back. That fifth day ends up just being a waste. We know that from studies that we've seen. And so... One of the biggest things that's not talked about in terms of what's really important for a business is lack of worker turnover because the amount of uh, cost that is incurred on a business for retraining employees is extremely high and that's actually one of the really big benefits of having a uh, $15 minimum wage is that you, what you'll see is companies who have already adopted it uh, they don't have much worker turnover, especially in comparison to other companies. IKEA saw that. Costco is a really good example. They pay the workers really well. They don't have much turnover. And so when you keep your employees, you keep your business as efficient as possible. And that's what you want. You don't want worker turnover, especially because if you have worker turnover, it's going to mean lower quality uh, you know, product from the workers because they won't be as well trained or have as much experience. And that will also negatively impact your business. Uh, so there's all these different progressive means that are actually beneficial for business, but somehow they're framed as being negative for business. And what polls seem to indicate is that a lot of even these small businesses who think that $15 minimum wage will be bad for their business, they're Republicans. And so are they really going based off of the books or real knowledge, or are they just kind of going based off what their political views are? And so this is really important stuff here because it is important to understand paying your workers a good wage that keeps them happy and happy to work there um, is beneficial for your business, not just for the person who is getting that money. It's good for your business. It will make for 
uh, better product from your business. And this is really important, and I'm really happy to see this.